Hey, I'm Kristen with Blazing Milestones. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and mom of a 25 week old. Jace has recently started to rotate or pivot on his tummy. So I wanna to talk to you about toy placement and encouraging your baby to start pivoting on their tummy. What you're gonna do first and foremost is roll your baby onto their tummy. Hi, now we're on our tummy. And you're gonna get a toy and you're gonna kinda of put it in their line of sight for them to be interested in and engage with. Now, I want him to start pivoting the other way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the toy so that it's just within reach, but then he automatically starts to push off those arms. So now we're working on that reciprocal weight bearing of our arms, which we're going to need for crawling, but he's doing it sideways. And then as he gets it, he touches the toy and then I just move it further, 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 further. So it's within reach and within sight, but he still has to move and rotate towards it. So if your baby is starting that engagement of pivoting on their tummy, encourage it by creating opportunities for your baby to have to go towards a toy that they really like. Make sure when you move the toy for them to go towards and they're successful with it, they get an opportunity to play with it in that position. And then when they kind of get distracted by something else or less interested in it, you can either get a new toy or you just re-engage them in that toy. Where is it? You gonna get it? Get that toy. Now, I put it a little bit too far away. He got a little, a little annoyed and just looked away from it because he wasn't interested. So what I'm gonna do is set him up for success by bringing it back this way and see if I can't get him interested in the other side. So now it's not too far out of reach and he has to start to rotate towards the toy. There you go. Uh-oh, bunk. Uh-oh, bunk. Go get the toy. Go get the toy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And then you can assist your baby so they have to weight shift to kind of get their body moving in the different directions. You can assist by helping them rotate as they lift their arms. But just wait and see. Let them try and figure out how to move their body towards the object and don't necessarily help right away because they may not need it. Wait to toy. So he's not going for it, so I'm going to put it back closer to see if he's interested, or else I can get a different toy. Or you can use your face. Sometimes that's just as motivational. Hi! Hey! You going to come over here? You going to come over here? So he's doesn't have his arms positioned, so I'm just going to reposition them because we're trying to work. We're not trying to just kind of lounge in this. So assist your baby in getting in position for them to push off on their hands and work to start to pivot. Hey, hey you, hey you. You coming over here? Should I get a new toy? What's this? Oh, what's this? What's this? You want this? Do you want this? Yeah, come on. Come on, come get it. Come get it. Yeah, pull that arm over. There you go, keep coming, you're almost here. You're almost here. So just kind of go side to side from the right to the left. He's already now pivoted. He was facing this way and now we've almost done 180 degree pivot and he's still going for the toy. Get something light where they can grasp and play with. Um, something that has eyes, it's motivational. You can make noise with it and just keep encouraging them. You may want to eliminate other distractions of other toys that are around because if they start to go for the toy and get distracted, they may lose that motivation to pivot towards that toy. And now you're just encouraging your baby to move four toys, weight bear on either side, and just alternate their hands while still working in tummy time. 